So here we're taking a look at um, the uh, Garmin Connect uh, site where you'll upload your um, runs and uh, various things, cycle, cycles, um, whatever you call them. Um, if you go just have a look at activities, you'll see I've got quite a lot in, in there and a lot of them are untitled, for example. I've gone in and edited uh, a couple of the latest ones that I've got while running with the 610. Um, here, the Desalp is uh, one, for example, that I did. Um, I went skiing this year and um, wore my watch as I have done a few times. And um, you get these quite nice, especially if you switch on satellite view. You can see the glacier here. Um, and this is the Le Desalp um, Resort. Um, you can kind of zoom in and see more, more about all of this and actually get right down to it, which is the, the cool thing after all, and this is, you know, one of the, although you can see it's all grass now, which uh, wasn't the case previously, and it looks like the swimming pool is full of water. I can assure you that was emptied out at the time, and all of this was snowy, and this was our hotel here, so that's pretty cool. Um, anyway, just uh, to get back into things, so uh, you have this dashboard area, that um, just gives you the recent activities, the latest ones that you've uploaded, um, some personal records, nothing in the cycling tab for me, that's not my thing, um, so it's it's all pretty much running. Um, active goals, you know, it's, it's good to create some goals and things like that, which I'm certainly going to be doing. Um, they have a updated quite a lot on here and one of those things which is really cool is training plans so you go into the tab plan and then training and here is a 5k one um, that is about three miles not sure exactly and that's kind of similar to uh, uh, this little Chalfont road run that I do which is almost exactly three miles so you can click here and see the weeks and the training does actually change whereas at here sort of at the at the end you've got running zone 2, easy 15 minute run, but towards the end you've got you know some different workouts. This will stop training getting boring and you'll have a goal and it's really good. I just wanted to show how easy it is to edit these um, because I got the, I didn't put the, the right date in so um, we're the 17th today so let's just do make it the 17th and then it automatically ends it because it's a 12 week course here. So I'm just going to go ahead and save that now. Yep. And now if we see uh, on the calendar, it's a very cool, and here you see Le Desert, that was my skiing there, and these are my last two runs, uh, and tomorrow, uh, actually, I've got, uh, I did a run today, I'm yet to upload. Um, so this is, today is the start, and, and this would tell me what I've got to do today. Um, so I'm quite interested to see how that uploads, if it uploads the device, um, then the device, you know, then I've just got to run and follow the plan, really, but um, I'm yet to see that. But, you know, go ahead and explore, and this is the start of the exploration, really, this video. So, um, similarly, there are there's some cool tools like workouts and things that you can set, set up, but I haven't got into that yet. Let's just have a look at the activities again, just go into one of the road runs that I did recently. So this is uh, one, I just click on the, the actual event. And this is an, an out and straight back, so it's not a big loop. It's uh, so This is roughly where I live. And so you go along, and that's a really long road, and then out onto a busy road, endless traffic. But I like to go out through this way and run around here and then come back. But the problem is it's so wet at the moment. Um, this this bit here is just soggy, um, but I did do that run today, which you might see in a later video. So it's good. Here you see the distance is almost exactly three miles, which uh, can't be far off my uh, 5k. I don't know exactly what 5k is, but uh, so and there's quite an elevation gain where I am here. You can see here the elevation goes down oh, something and then up. So it's it's quite a varied route. It's not flat. And here's the device information, the 610. Um, 
I think the weather is not the weather that it was. I think that's just showing you what the weather was is actually today. So that's not and laps as well. There's it's, there's not I haven't enabled any laps, but I suppose I could create a lap as being out, and that would be a lap and then back. But um, that's not really what this is for. So. Um, this difference between pace, minute miles, uh, so I'm doing average of 8 for 3 minute mile there, um, an average speed of 6.9 miles an hour, maximum speed of 8.7, which is quite interesting. I'm going to do some interval training at some point, so I'm going to do a short sprint during, during part of um, the run. So here we can see pace, some, some changes to the pace there. So really that's pretty cool, but one of the really good things I wanted to um, get into and show is um, uh, you can do this really cool export. Um, I've already installed Google Earth, so if you go ahead and install Google Earth, cl clicking the magic button starts to launch the application and um, basically uploads your run or whatever you did to Google Earth and you can get some nice images from that. 